Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty, back with The Christmas Killer. We just found a dead woman, and we think that the Snow Globe Killer has returned, and it is December 20th, five days before Christmas. I like the look of this girl up here. Pink hair that just kind of faded in. Here's the evidence we've collected so far. We found these photos under Peggy's bed. She has two relatives, a daughter and a brother. Okay, I'm guessing that's them. Just tap. The victim's daughter, Misty. We found her photo under Peggy's bed. Okay, let's look for a photo. Victim's brother, Antonio. Also found under Peggy's bed. Looks like there's, a, there's holes there. Where, where, where they're like their heads are, where we put the thumbtack. That's a little practice of us. Take over. Still working, Kate? It's late. Thanks. Yeah, I need to know if the real Christmas killer is behind this murder. I'm swamped right now, but feel free to use the lab yourself. You're a certified tech after all. Why are you here then? This is a giant snow globe. I found this ornament in the victim's hand. Perhaps it should not be sitting out in the open. She gets the lab. No time to go to the break room now. Okay, this is the lab, I guess. There may be some fingerprints here. We need a closer look. Looks like a balloon. Blank tape. Everything's on the floor. Small key. Blank. There may be some fingerprints here. I need a closer look. I can analyze some fingerprints here. She seems very tiny now. There's some fingerprints. A magnifying glass. And that's the door. Okay, I think we've found everything we can. Use the tape? Nope. Magnifying glass. I need to dust those prints first. Darn it, we didn't get dust! Wait. I'm not sure how we ended up here. The makeup case is locked. Got powder and brush. Uh oh. This is never a good sign. Atomic number 80 mercury. You just know it's gonna be a puzzle. More. Oh, great. Another combination lock. Where's the dang powder? Does this count as the powder? Let's try it. Nope. Pretty sure we need actual powder. More. Oh, maybe we use this? Any of these spell out more? Back here. M O forty two seventy five. Try that. Oh, we did it, we're geniuses. Dusting powder and more tape. All right, let's start dusting the prints now. I can figure out how to get back in the room. Okay. Can I lift this finger from the tape? I love tape sound. Let's use it on this balloon looking thing. Who's gonna take care of the cats? I still don't remember what this is supposed to be. I almost clicked the wrong magnet. Do this to the snow globe, though? Hmm, I guess not, because I don't think we can get back to that other room. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice fingerprints. Where is this? Where do you? Oh, maybe. Did we put the names in? I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> I 
doesn't really tell us what we're supposed to type. I thought maybe we had to use a fingerprint router on these. How many orbs here? No gold. What are we supposed to type? use a hint because I'm scared of the hints now. Like, it'll just be like, you have to search for more hints. See how useless this is. The three symbols look metallic. Yes. Yes, they do. Okay, where's gold? Gold and bronze. Copper. CU-29. Is this relevant? I don't know. CU- AU- Okay, AU or silver. This is a puzzle, this is really stupid. Unless it's platinum. Oops, it's silver. I guess it's. Okay. PT, AU, CU. For gold, I already looked at that. Oh, this is so gold is a U. Oh, there's C. C. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I swear I looked at this. A U A G C U. Oh my gosh, now I can't click on the computer. forgot while I was trying to get the computer to work. Ugh. Okay. AU, AG. Yeah. That was obnoxious and unnecessary. Don't worry. That's what we need. A fingerprint puzzle. I'm trying not to put the volume too loud because I'm finding it overshadows my voice. You just know we're going to have to do this three times. Okay. Let's 
there. You know, I think taking actual fingerprints is probably easier than this. I've had a lot of trouble with, like, recordings getting messed up, so I am very apprehensive. I don't want that to happen again, especially with this one, because I think it's, like, ten times harder to fix. I don't even know if I can restart parts of this. It's huge. My goodness. No match, darn. I was hoping this would be easy. You know, the Christmas Killer case was over a decade ago. Those records aren't digitized yet. Sounds like we're taking a trip to the records office downtown. Oh, town. Adventure Escape. Time Library. Walking everywhere, don't we have a car? Key cards on the floor. Let's ask the receptionist where to find the files. Haven't you heard? They cut the staff due to budget cuts. So what do we do now? This building houses thousands of files. They got rid of the receptionist? They use a voice activated assistant now. Oh, that sounds terrible. Come on, Kate, this is new technology. It's exciting. Sure it is. Hand me a blueprint of this place and maybe we can figure out where to go. Place something here. How do I place something there? Upgrade. We're blocked by a key card some type, but we have a key card. Voice device. Needs electricity. Great, it's plugged in. Now what? Oh, great voice device. Can we find the Christmas killer files? One slash five crimes are in the bottom five floors of the archives. Two crimes are organized chronologically, crimes that are ordered something. When floors with crimes, the first half of the rooms deal with nonviolent crime. Murders are in odd numbers rooms. Repeat offenders are in rooms that are metaphysic three. Wow. What do you think about the new technology now, Murphy? Uh, that was less helpful than anticipated. At least I took notes. Cryptic statements. Oh, well, you're good for something, buddy. My foot is falling asleep. Seriously. Did Professor Layton make up this? device. Well, we have lost the cryptic notes. They have vanished. That's no good. Oh, there's a blueprint. Where did the cryptic notes go? Seriously, they just kind of vanished. 
We should know where to go now. Let's look at this together. Oh, well, there's our there's our cryptic notes. Shift one sitting. So crimes are definitely in one of the bottom five floors. Organized chronologically by month they occurred. So it's probably on one of the bottom floors, just because it occurred a decade ago. Floors with crimes. The first half of the room to deal with non-violent crime. So since it's a decade ago, is it supposed to be down here? The crimes. First half of the room to deal with non-violent crime. So there's 20 rooms, so it should be in the crimes. So it's the later half. So 11 through 20. And the violent crimes. Murders are in odd number rooms. So, gosh, I hate math. Okay, so it's not 20, and it's got to be a multiple of three. So it can't be 20, can't be 19, can't be an 18. Three, four is 12, three, six, 18. There is no 21! Because it would be a repeat offender. Because if, if it was a, a dude, it would have to be a multiple of three. Wait, it didn't get mixed up. It can be a multiple of three. So, 18. was not helpful at all. Okay, I have the walkthrough. That puzzle is getting on my last nerve. I hate having to use puzzles for this. Blank tape, makeup kit. Don't want to scroll down too far. Does it make us go to another page? has to be in rooms 1120. B10, room 15. Yep. Basement floor 10, room 15. Let's go. Hopefully Oaknodian in the comments can explain that puzzle to me. Because I have no clue. Oh, great. Oh, this is some security. We have to trigger those four red pressure plates. We're not heavy enough, so you'll have to push a crate onto them. You stay here and pull the lever for the revolving gate. I'll see what I can do about the pressure plates. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is seriously <laughs> Professor Layton's security over here.
sure that my commentary for this one is a lot less interesting than it could be. It's so much worse when you're on a sort of time constraint. Because I don't want to have to look at the walkthrough all the time, but I also know these recordings can only be so long. And we still need to beat the chapter. the wall and that's a problem. Yeah, so we need to avoid putting more by the wall if we can. We're wasting so much time on this one puzzle. And we need 30 stars to skip it. Oh, I'm gonna look at the walkthrough again. I hate having to do that, but we just don't have the time. Even if we had like a, a hint. Okay, so we at least know this one needs to go up here. So... I think we have a choice but to move this one down. And we can't go over here, so we have to go this way. And pushing that against the wall robs us of a box. to do that. Go down here. Okay, wait, wait. I don't know if we move that over, we'll probably get down to that one. Maddening. 
should have just watched the video of how to do the puzzle while we were there. We just don't have the time. And of course, the video is not working. Ugh. This is so obnoxious. And it's gonna make us watch an ad. Like you can just tell. Maybe we'll get lucky though. YouTube is really driving me crazy with all the ads because I think this video can only be like at, at max 28 minutes. Otherwise, I won't be able to use the software that I use to add the audio. Even bit, bit of an annoying puzzle. I agree, buddy. Okay, so you need to move okay, so Kate. Got a gift from Lavender. That's gonna go for her. Maybe? I just don't know that we're gonna have the time that we need to do this. and rap for saving the day. I may have to end this part early even though I don't want to. So if this chapter ends really fast. Finally, the Christmas killer file should be in this room. Got all the spray. Yeah, we're gonna end this part here. The recording might have to combine it. Thank you for watching. Please comment. Bye! Hello everyone, I don't know if this will be a new part or a continuation, or if we'll even have space. This is rusted shut. It's out of reach. So we're trying to hurry through this because we took up too much time on the last puzzle. Ugh, that was a disaster. Dirty. I guess we need to wet the rag. That's why we have a long pipe. of water. We're making a real mess. At least that one was easy. This is it, the old case file. Look, more snow gloves. I'll take them back to the office for examination. Here, they have the old fingerprints from the original crime scene. They match, which means the killer is back. I need to speak to the victim's relatives. Chap, we're gonna end here. I'll be a little mad if it does, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I might just like exit this and hope I can somehow like latch it onto the other part. So. So yeah, I'll see if that works. Bye for now.